Next up, Ruth Weisberg creates a lithographic print at University of Michigan's Stamps Print Media Studio during her campus residency. She also opens up about her breaking the glass ceiling in her field. We're really thrilled that Ruth is here at Petty Stamp School of Art and Design. Ruth is an artist that I have always admired for her work, her career, her humanist impulses, her connection to the past and relevance in the present. She's one of the foremost artists in the field. I specialize in doing lithographic washes. Truly is not easy, you know, you can do a very elaborate drawing and then kind of blow it in the uh, processing of the stone and, you know, there's always some risk involved, but the rewards compensate for that. The reward in lithography is the lithograph, you know, is that sheet of paper that has that particular vocabulary of the print and the possibilities of, the, of that visual language. I came um, to the University of Michigan in the fall of 1959. I was from Chicago and very ambitious in terms of wanting to be an artist, but institutionally there were certain barriers. So they weren't allowing women into the MFA program. Instead, we would be allowed to take MAs. To break the glass ceiling for anyone of my generation took not only individual effort and, and some courage, um, but it took a collective effort. Women had to come together and make demands and become very visible. Young people who want to be artists, whether it's now or 50 years ago or 20 years from now, it's a huge commitment. I mean, being an artist is a real vocation. It takes over your life. It is your identity. It's the way you see the world, how you interact with the world. It's a big commitment. You know, you make certain sacrifices. The rewards are enormous. I feel I have a strong message for young artists. My message is always be true to your own beliefs and aesthetic. Don't be cowed by the art world. Fashions come and go. That's not the way to calibrate a career. It's much more about being dedicated to your own vision profoundly and, and taking risks in that direction. I am an artist who did figurative art when it was totally unfashionable because I believed in it. I felt that I had no choice um, but to be myself profoundly. <laughs>